Welcome to video tutorial 10 of our bunnies. Um, at the last tutorial we left you finishing up to line 18 of your pattern. So this is what it will now look like. We can see it's starting to look like a bunny. The legs and the body now started. Um, so what we're going to do now is show you how to stuff. So you're also going to need your stuffing and you're also going to need your needle because we're going to sew up the little bit a uh, little gap between uh, bunny's legs. So, grab your stuffing and you can see with our ball fibre stuffing this is really easy to use. It doesn't clump like a lot of other stuffings do. It goes in quite easily because it's all in small pieces. With any stuffing what I'd recommend is just pull it apart like so. Get it so it's separated. What you don't want is it to be in big hard pieces because it could look lumpy once you've stuffed it. So separate it out, but it is easy with the ball fibre stuffing. And then we're going to pop it right down into Bunny's legs. If you're going into small areas, you can use something like the back of a knitting needle or a chopstick. Um, or even the back of your crochet hook to get it in small areas. With the legs, it's quite straightforward though. One thing to watch for though is don't leave it right until the end to stuff because if you're trying to stuff through a very small gap it just makes it really difficult. And the other tip I'd give you as well is not to tip right up to where you crochet in so we won't stuff right up to the brim because what happens is as you crochet it's very easy to get little bits of stuffing caught in your hook and then it all gets tangled between the stitches. And you end up just trying to <laughs> trying to get it out. So always leave a gap of a, a couple of centimetres at least so that you're not catching the stuffing. So we're going to cram quite a bit in. As a general rule, um, with with this with this shape, the, the legs need to be quite firm. And the body also needs to be firm. Heads are generally very firm. Arms, um, with the arms for the bunny, we would just pop a bit of stuffing in the hand and then a very very light stuffing in the arm because if you overstuff you end up with arms that stick out at an angle which just doesn't look very professional and um, you want arms that will hang by bunny's side so here we go if we're doing a seated animal we'll often do similar to the arms where we we stuff the foot firmly and stuff the leg very lightly because if they're sat up if they've got legs that sit you don't want them so fully stuffed that they're tipping tipping the animal over but we'll show you that in other videos when we do one like that so nice and firm give it a shape as you go so we we're sort of just pinching it a bit shuffling it like that because what we want is nice rounded legs so if it looks a bit stuck out at one end just squeeze them, squeeze them is a good word, that's how we, what we're doing. Give them a squeeze, move the stuffing around. It is important to, to spend the time getting the stuffing correct because if you understuff, you're going to end up with a really soft animal. If you overstuff, you could end up with stuffing showing through. If it feels like it's bursting at the seams, you've got too much in, take some out. But we want our legs rounded and firm, like so. And then just give them a squeeze, shuffle it about to make sure they look nice and even. What you're just trying to avoid is maybe one leg stuffed a lot more than the other leg. Or um, so the stuffing showing through. Or the legs been so lightly done that they're, they're soft and floppy. Unless you prefer them that way. Right, so we've got plenty of stuffing in there. Try to do them quite even because we don't want one big fat leg and one little skinny leg. We'll try to make them as even as possible. Just have a look. See what you think to it as you go in. But if you've got your stuff in nice and even, then it does give a much more professional finish. So I think I'm quite happy with that look. Our legs look quite evenly stuffed. Look at it from different angles. Oh, looks like it's got a groove there. That isn't right, is it? Look. So I'll push a bit more down like so. And so we're leaving a nice gap, we're not stuffing right to the top. Like that's we don't want to get it caught because it's a bit of a faff getting it out. So now we've done that, what we're going to do is if you remember where we joined the legs, there's quite often a little hole. No matter how hard you try, you often get one. So we're going to get rid of that. So we're going to get our needle, which is in the little tiny organza bag on there. 
it's a wide eyed needle so you can get your wool through so we're just going to thread the little end that we left if you forgot to leave one or if you didn't for any reason you can just knot a piece of the grey yarn and push it through somewhere away from it um, through one of the holes if you were threading it um, so that the knot disappears inside the bunny because we don't want to see the knot and then bring it out somewhere between the bunny's legs so what I'm going to do now is just gently I'm going to use the holes like so like that and then I'm just going to gather them together there we go I'll show you a little bit closer so we don't want great big stitches so I've just gone up through that stitch I'm going to kind of ladder stitch it so I'm going to go like that and then I'm going to go back in this side across there so I'm kind of going from one side to the other and then when you pull it it will gather closed just trying to do it neatly with just little stitches there we go look so there's a little bit of a gap there so I'm going to go into go in there and up there just pulling them together it's not very noticeable because it's between the legs you're not really going to see this but still trying to do little little stitches so we'll pull it up tighter and we're going to double check that we haven't got any holes so you're just doing a few stitches just try not to do a stitch for example where we're going to go right over there and like that because you'll have a big line on the outside try to go in and come up to the area that you want to fasten and then maybe go down the next stitch and back across and then pull it slightly to gather it so once you're happy that it's all gathered one good trick of getting rid of the end is to go back in through where you've come out come out somewhere else between a natural gap like so and then we're going to go back in the same hole we've just come out of and then go back this only works when your stuffing is in because what's happening is you're getting it all tangled up in the stuffing so the end will will disappear we'll go back in so you do it two or three times come back out and then we're going to grab our scissors and then what I'm going to do is pull slightly so I'm pulling it a bit too tight and then trim it quite close being very careful not to snip I'll work and then because you pulled it tight and then we let it go the end vanishes inside so now that's nice and tangled up inside the stuffing and our end is disappeared and we've no knot on the outside anywhere to show what we've done so look at that it's nice and neat this only works it's much easier to do that so when you've got the stuffing in rather than when you haven't and also losing the end when you're doing that going in and out to lose the end you need the stuffing because the the end has now all got tangled in with the stuffing so it makes it nice and secure so there we are we've done a bit of stuffing and we've also sewn up the hole between the legs and in the next video we're going to be showing you how to decrease and we'll be continuing with our pattern from line 19 thank you for watching